Yo, good morning. One and all, happy Friday to everybody. It is Carlin. Hey, how are you? Hi. I, I'm doing fabulous. Look, I got my fish tank behind me today because James is in the office. So I was like, we're going to change it up. <laughs> I love it, man. It looks fantastic. Thanks. It's a squirrel fish. That's a squirrel fish? Yeah. Is that really what it's called? Is a squirrel fish? Yeah, legitimately. It's called a squirrel fish. Talk about going squirrel. Good morning, guys. Ken, thanks for being here, bro. Ken says, love the title. The title. Thank you for mentioning that, dude. I am so excited. Today, I'm going to I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like Mel Gibson today for the conversation that we're about to have. I have my eyeliner, uh, you know, set out on my, um, on my desk. I have my, uh, what are those called? Tights. I've got my tights up. I've got my lipstick ready to go. Today's conversation is going to be one that's very unique. It's something that I have never done. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of kind of excited to get a little bit deeper into the wood or the the weeds rather. Pam, Pamtastic. Pamtastic. The title got me. Jada says the title got me. Okay, cool. Good. So that's if, what we want. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be super, 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 super fun. So. We had an episode last week where we were introducing our team and we had such an amazing conversation about what the Growth Co. is doing, uh, where we're going in 2024, um, and kind of give everybody a chance to get to meet our team and hear the exciting things that they have going on and their experiences and all that kind of fun stuff. As you guys know, we're, we're here to change. Uh, we're here to help people. We're here to provide value in a way that, honestly, Carlin, I have to, at, at the risk of sounding arrogant, I feel like what we have created is something that is so unique and is going to help and change a lot of people's lives, especially going into 2024. I was actually on the phone with one of our previous clients, and it's amazing to see the amount of growth, the way that he is thinking and the way that he's executing on things in his business. He was very new in July. He now just made $25,000 in 48 hours. That's just from exciting. simply thinking about things differently, understanding things differently, having abundant and positive habits, creating this, this blueprint to get us to where we're trying to go and understanding that, hey, you know what? We don't have to be working 18-hour days with next to no sleep and getting up at 2 a.m. every single day and doing all the things to make a lot of money. We don't have to do that. That's the beautiful thing about this. And the conversation we're going to have today is one that I'm particularly, like I said, very excited about. And we're going to welcome back some faces that you guys got to... Um, got to meet or get familiar with last week. Allison, how are you? Good. Haley, thanks for being here. And Mary, Mary, today's Friday. Guess what, guys? It is Friday. It is Mary's second favorite F word. So she is particularly <laughs> excited about it today. <laughs> we don't say her first one. <laughs> no, Mary, I've never, I don't think that I've ever heard Mary... Uh, cuss at all. Am I right, Miri? Yes, you're right. Okay. I was trying to. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull one on over, and everyone's gonna be like, "Wow, Miri's got the mouth of a sailor, really?" <laughs> okay, no, fine. not I'll, today. I'll Her not first today. favorite F word is friends. <laughs> I was just friends. thinking that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Actually, fun. Oh, pay, fun with pay, friends. Pay, Dr. Dre, man, thanks for being here, bro. He said, keep the hair dryer away from the bathtub, LMAO. Uh, when I first read that, I was thinking about, he was talking about my hair. I'm having a rather good hair day, uh, speaking of which. So today's going to be a fantastic day. But I think this is in reference to the actual movie, What Women Want. You know what? That's good advice. That's that's good advice either way. But ladies, what are we what are we going to be talking about today? What are we going to, what, how do I, how do I introduce, the, and introduce this? Do I say... Let's dish. Um, you could say let's gab. I got some tea. Let's chat. Just um, between us gals, your favorite just saying. Between us, gals. <laughs> between us gals. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's so, a game of mine. Let me grab my tea. 
Just and, uh, let's dish. We need to clarify is why. It's kind of hard to hear you, Carlin. Is it just uh, me or is it kind of hard to hear Carlin? Yeah. No. No? Yes? Can you hear Good. me? Better. It's better now. Better? Can you hear me now? It, yeah, it was for a second. <laughs> But now, now it's good. You're good now. Speaking of I 2008, think. it's bringing me back to the Verizon commercials. Now. Or the Britney Spears. Leave Britney alone. <laughs> no, no, the, with the red jumpsuit and the head thing. That's what I think of. Every time, every time. I just see okay. Britney Spears. Okay, so first I'm listening. For, just so you guys know, they compared me to Lindsay Lohan a little while ago. I think Britney so. Spears is much better. I feel like you guys are just trying to insult me now. <laughs> Way to um, go, Allison. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. What I was saying is, Jesse, before we get the gals gabbing, yep. I need you to explain why we've got the lovely faces on. What is so significant about what we have going on right now? Oh, that's what I was going to have you guys introduce. Oh, well, we can talk forever. I figured I'd give Jessica the opportunity to speak momentarily. We're, we have something that we're really excited about going. So uh, as you guys can see, there's five of us on here. There's seven of us total that's on Team GroCo. Mm -hmm. And we were having a company meeting earlier this week. And the gals and I were gabbing. And did I get that right? Did I say it right, Nailed ladies? It. Nailed, Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, cool. So the gals and I were gabbing. We were having a nice little chat over some tea and they brought up doing something that we had never considered before. Um, I've, I've personally, I've, I've never done anything like this before. And with how impactful 2023 has been, not only for me, but for our team, for the ladies here that are on here with me, we thought, let's do something that's very special. Let's do something in particular that is tailored towards um, women and empowering, providing a, a, an environment and an opportunity specifically for women to really get a jump start on the things that they're wanting to accomplish and build going into the new year. Does that about sum it up, ladies? Beautiful. Yeah. I yeah. would I would put that yeah. one right on the head. You nailed it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So in in short, guys, what we're going to be doing for all the women that are watching right now, please go share this with other women because what we are doing, we're going to be running a cohort, a specific cohort that is going to be a women only cohort going into January. Now, why is that important? Why was that a big to do? Why, why, like, how come you guys brought this up during our meeting and why is it something that was so important? Cause I think it's a fantastic idea. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just start. I'll start. I think being a woman in the real estate space, in any space really, is a unique angle that you you kind of have to find people that are in that angle too. So, darn it, dogs. So being a stay-at-home mom, being in real estate with my partner, trying to support his business, trying to support my business, trying to support my household, trying to make sure everything is going and going and going, I think it's a really unique opportunity to be able to bring the collective together and say, hey, you know what? We are on this journey. We are doing this together. And mm -hmm. especially because I've talked to so many stay-at-home moms. I mean, Jessica, you know as a stay-at-home mom yourself, it, <laughs> it has its own <laughs> unique challenges. And so what really stood out to me about doing this is – just being able to say, hey, it, it is a challenge, but that's why we're here because we are a group of women. We are a group of strong badasses that 
are here to help challenge each other. I 100% like agree. Said, you know, earlier too, you know, it's a lot easier for women to relate to women, you know, when you're home working and you've got your kids in the background. Um, that's something we were talking about earlier on the meeting. It's definitely different than if you were, you know, speaking to a man who doesn't quite understand, you know, but woman to woman, you know, they get it that the kids are there and they're making noise and that's just kind of how it is. Yeah, it thank is. you for sharing that. I, I, I totally agree. I 100% I agree. I think there's perspectives, and I think there are things that um, are unique to women that they could benefit from, from going and, and having a community of other women that they could grow with, that they could connect with, that they could share things with in a... Um, you know, in a, in a growth centered and abundant environment. Yeah. I mean, as I think somebody that... who plays Mr. Mom most of the week, I, <laughs> I totally understand. Yeah. I mean, I think that, you know, we can bring as women a different view and a different um, perspective to real estate too. I mean, I think that it, you know, with a, the feminine and the masculine coming together as a whole, um, it can really, create something more powerful. Um, because I think that, you know, men, they think a certain way they, they have, they're really good. You know, um, I think that, you know, they, they, they like to, um, you know, solve problems. So they're straightforward, you know, this is the problem. Here's a solution. And, um, you know, women, we like to analyze things. We like to kind of go over the kind of, more of the technical aspects of things. So I think coming together and being able to, you know, create a sense of um, community with with the women as well, so that maybe women that feel a little bit uncomfortable because they are women saying, I don't know if I can do this. I don't, I don't know if I can quite do that. I mean, it just seems really crazy. Um, you know, you can. And there's so many women out here that do it now. And they had the same questions, they had the same fears, but it's something to be said to talk to another woman and uh, about it and be able to um, support each other in that aspect too, I think. I think it's just something to, to be said about that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a unique angle, I would say, like, when I think of success, like, don't get me wrong, I, I think of like, you know, Pace Morby, Jamil Danji, Grant Cardone, but when I think of like the the labor behind success, I think of Vina Jetty. I think of Laura Morby. Like she's she's about to oh, pop, yeah. and she's doing some some heavy stuff right now. And like being able to see her doing this while she has two kids, a teenager, and is pregnant. Like that's who I want to talk to. Mm -hmm. That's who yeah. I want to talk to because like they do rock they're they're straight up badasses and they're doing it while they support their family they're doing it while they support their partners and they're doing it, it i what looks like flawlessly like ah oh, it's just it's it's what Ken said. It's it's unstoppable. Like that's a force to be reckoned with, right there. Absolutely. Yeah, they're doing. They're being the doers and the thinkers. You know, behind everything, which is it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I think a female in general was. Uh, you know, I think if I look at the progression that happens over the years about female in a workplace. Uh, beside that and wanting to start something of their own and thinking, wow, I can't run the house and the kids and and be, you know, in reality, something we have to give, but just finding that harmonious way to do both. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to give up on raising family or raising kids or having your own business. I think it can be both. And that's the beauty. I think female, unlike men, 
uh, you, you see men that do that, but very few that can do actually both pretty well. I think we uh, as FEMA can bring a lot to the table and a lot of different flavor. Just especially in the real estate, I think, uh, space. A funny little story yesterday, I went to see a house. And if I look at myself five years ago when I used to do that, and again, a lot of men around, and they just, like you said, Allison, it's like more than plywood. What's not only practical, what's actually working? I don't want to think about, you know, beautiful or uh, or nice or need to be functional. So we looked at a house yesterday and I was looking and, and it's totally different eyes. And the guy, you know, fix and flip many home, even more than me. And I said, oh, I suggest this couple of things. Said, oh, my gosh, I have not even thought about it. Thank you. But it's not because I was brilliant. It's because I'm a female. And when I look at home in a different eyes, I see things that I would think women needs more than men can think that way so i think in many many ways we can bring so much more to the table that um that's why we see so much women do real estate so it's nice to have a space that we can just get stronger so when people goes on their own and face the male outside we can show our muscles and how brilliant we can be so. yeah yeah i mean i think there's something to be said about you know, how we do things too. Um, mm -hmm. You know, both men and women are really, you know, you can be fantastic and, and really do a lot in this industry. It's, you know, it's all about working hard and, you know, continuing to do it over and over again. But there's something to be said about what women can bring to the table in certain aspects. I mean, you hear all the time women are, can be better on the phones. I mean, sometimes, sometimes, a caller or a seller will, will answer the phone. They hear a woman's voice. They they might be more apt to, to sell to them as 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 to a man. But um, you know, it just depends on on how it goes. But I say, if you can bring women to the table and really highlight them and show their strengths and encourage other women to to be able to do it, I think that's important. That that's everybody my understand that. I'm really excited about doing a women's only cohort because I think it's going to take a lot of the unique abilities that we're able to have and take it over and be like, okay, you're about to become the master of this. Like, mm -hmm. like yeah, leadership. That's what I think. We're, we're women. We have leadership qualities. I lead four people around all day. Five, if you really want to count my husband. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, how often do we actually see that as leadership? How often do we see what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis as something that we can implement into business? Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, yeah, we build relationships. I've built relationships with toddlers. Hey, you yes. can do that. You can do anything. Yeah. Yep. Agree. Agree. So, so I'm excited to take these skills that we have. Mm -hmm. and transform them into something not just not just what we do in our household but what we do in our business what we what we're able to build out because building relationships i mean i mean think about how you've built a relationship with your children's teachers mary you are your child's teacher so we're gonna x nay on that one yeah. but like you have a good line of communication with them. How did you build that? How did you build that relationship with the teacher? How did you build the relationship with, um, you know, the mailman is a great example. I've got a great relationship with our mailman. And these are all just networking. My mailman brings my mail straight to my door because we, I, I say hi and I say hello and hey, how are you doing? These are skills that we need to have in business. And I think it gets overlooked that these day-to-day -day things are the foundation of what we do with our business. Mm -hmm. I, I think, love the way you do that, I agree. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, doing a cohort only for women, what I think it's an amazing plus. And I think a lot of women sometimes uh, need to find a space that they are safe, that they feel safe to express their ability and a lot of things comes out like in other form they might not 
and you can hone on it, you can you can uh, nurture it, and you can make it bigger and better in an environment that you feel so comfortable because we all so understand each other, we female. And then when you go out, I think you will have more strength and more um, ability to work with other form and not being intimidated by it. So I think there's a huge value of doing one. Here's our angel. angel. Hi, hey, angel. angel lady. <laughs> overthinkers in general and very detail oriented. So I yes. feel like, cause men aren't that way, but women are, that's kind of where they might feel, you know, like they can, um, I know I probably would be able to open up a lot more and say a lot more things uh, mm -hmm. surrounded by other women that they, you know, feel they have to hold in around men. Yeah. yeah. And, and have, like, have somebody understand you too. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's a different dynamic um, when you're talking to women versus men and not to say one's better or worse than the other, but it's just different. And guys know too. I mean, they have, they, when they go with their guys, friends, that's a guy thing. You know, we're, we're like, I don't know what you're doing, but same thing. For, <laughs> just for go men. do it. Come back. Yeah, later. Perspectives. <laughs> so it's interesting yeah. to, you know, just get one together and then, who knows? Maybe on down the line, we'll have it just men's, but you never know. Never know. Never know. But yeah. Yeah. I think we, I think it's, it'll be a good opportunity for women to be able to stand out and really feel comfortable at, in diving into it, being able to talk about where, what their issues are comfortably. Because I mean, I know for myself, if I'm in a bunch of people, men and women, sometimes I'm a little nervous to say how I really feel, but mm -hmm. because I know maybe men won't understand that, but women would. So I think it's a great opportunity for them. I'm, I'm just really excited about it because I mean, it's like you've touched on already. Like there's a lot of things that as, as women, like it's a little bit harder to vocalize things like our brain lets other people go first most of the time mm -hmm. so <laughs> having the opportunity to be in a room where we can collaborate and connect and really build something out i i think that'll be really good and a really overall enlightening experience because building the foundation in a women's group allows you to build up the confidence to go out and build relationships outside of just women. So, right. you know, I could say, Hey, Miri, you said that you were talking to contractors. Can you give me a little bit of insight? Maybe like, I'm not really sure how to convey what I need with them. You've, you've dealt with it. How, mm -hmm. how do you convey your needs? And being able to have that open line of communication where, you know, I mean, it's like me trying to have a conversation with James. Like sometimes I'm like, hey, what about this? And he's like, oh, da, 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 da. I'm like, I have no idea what you just said. I'm talking about my James, not our James, Haley. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but still, the, actually, that the point remains. Like, there's a lot of times I where, think... like, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I need you to change the way you're saying it. And that's not just a woman or a man specific thing. That's a human specific thing. But being in an environment where you're comfortable learning how to convey that mm -hmm. is going to make a dramatic difference from where you are today versus where you're going to be in a year from now it just opens up the door of communication and opens up your ability to build relationships it opens up your ability to develop your leadership skills and when you're able to hone that in a place where you feel comfortable and already like you're set up for success you're walking out into the world with those traits ready for you mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. What do you think, Kaylee? I agree. I feel like women kind of just sometimes speak the same language and an understandable language, and it does open the door for more faster and better communication, but not just communication, but better comprehension from the people that you're speaking to. Yeah, I, 
I don't know. As for me, I, I speak fluent toddler. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm I I speak fluent toddler, so I can look at him and go. Yes. Yeah. And then he looks at me and goes. <laughs> Is that Oakley? Oakley? Yeah, wholeheartedly Oakley. I knew it. <laughs> it's just I don't know. That's mm -hmm. that's my perspective. That's the reason I'm excited for the women's yeah. cohort. I think we're going to have a lot of opportunity to create a lot of very successful women in business um, mm -hmm. that are going to go out and do some absolutely incredible things with their capabilities and their qualities. And everyone ha brings something unique to the table. So let's give mm -hmm. them the space to, to show us what that unique thing is. Agreed, agreed. Yeah, I think yeah, the code is uh, kind of like taking our life that is kind of a chaotic. I know that my house is always chaos and and you come in to the cohort and you kind of think you equipped women to organize, to have more um, organization in their business and how to actually um, negate that chaos that we, we always in it, you know, it's like, children, husband, food, grocery, cleaning. I know that's for me. But when you come in and you have all those ideas and you say, okay, how can I actually organize that? How do I work on certain things that I need to get done? And um, and I think that the cohort can really help with that to organize all that chaos that we have. Yeah, and take it to the next level. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I was gonna say. You want to learn time management? Girl, I got you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a I big guess. thing. Time management, it really is a big thing. It is. I'm still learning it. <laughs> <laughs> Try to master it. Me too. And it's too. that's something that I think this will emphasize is, especially with kids in the household, your time management is going to have to be continuously shifting. I mean, I've got an almost eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and a two-year-old. One of them takes a nap. One of them goes to school in the middle of the day. One of them goes to gymnastics twice a week. And the other one is it's back and forth between where she needs to be. So how do you manage that? Yeah. What do you need to do? Well, that's what I want to teach. That's what I want to help with because you're the master at that. That's what I was just thinking I, as you're I saying it. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. You, well, you, you just, you have so many ways of doing it that are so effective for you with all of the things you do. And I just, I admire that. It's just, it's crazy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You got to, well, I think you've showed me before, but I need to, you know, I need to get with you on that a little bit more. <laughs> So I, I feel like sometimes I cry sometimes with how my schedule is. So I, I, I would love to take someone along with me on the day. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do it. They'd be like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I know. I tried. I tried to be done. <laughs> um, but okay. that's something that gets heavily hit on is time management and how we need to balance this. Yes, so, work life. You know how you combine your work life. Uh, together with your uh, with your business, you know it's it's a big thing. It's uh, it's not something you can just get up in the morning and do it. You really kind of need to be equipped to uh, do it the best way, so you don't feel drained, you don't feel overwhelmed, you don't feel like uh, overworked. That um, mm -hmm. that you can you can control all that as being much as possible. Nothing is perfect, mm -hmm. obviously, but. Definitely being intentional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I feel like is something that women are, you know, good at in general, but maybe not being in maybe, you know, enhancing the, this makes sense and in, intentionally being intentional. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Do you guys understand that? Yeah. Intentionally yeah. being intentional. Like you're intentional you know, you're intentional, but you know, you could be more intentional. So it's kind of like, you know, that fine line between doing what you know you're capable of. And and I think maybe that goes back to women too, where we kind of can see our flaws in a different way, but also see our capability. And it kind of, you know, drives us crazy to the point where we got to we go one way and then we go the next trying to, you know, make it work. 
Yeah, mutual understanding, I think, in female, it's very, mm -hmm. it's very big. Yeah. I think it's, I don't know if this is my personal observation, but I really like the way we can collaborate together. And I think creating a network of women where they can collaborate and connect and build something will be incredibly unique in an aspect where not only are you building your network, but you're building these continuous relationships and these continuous friendships. So in an industry like real estate that is generally displayed as very competitive, we're able to create something where it's a collaborative and we can take mm -hmm. those skills from that specific set and create a very fluid and dynamic co-ed setting where mm -hmm. you're taking your ability from what you've learned within the group and bringing mm -hmm. it back into the main growth co community and saying, Hey, this is what I've learned. And this is mm -hmm. what I want to teach you. And this is what we're about. And I think that's going to be a really unique aspect on why this is going to be huge. I mean, Allison, I know that you've been part of a couple other women's programs, correct? Um, one other one, yes. Okay. So yeah. what were the things about it that stood out that you were just like, this is great? And oh. Well, I mean, first things is, uh, I mean, just what we've been talking about. I mean, real estate investing in general, um, you know, it's any business that you start up is hard. But when you have somebody that is, uh, you know, in, in a women's investment group, they kind of delve more into kind of what you you know, how you work as a woman and how you think as a woman. So I think that was the the big key behind that one. I mean, you know, and, and just because it was a woman's network, I wouldn't say all mentorships and stuff like that were, are the best things. But um, the one thing I got from that is the, the collaboration of our minds, um, being women in the industry, having our families, trying to make everything work, trying to make everything just come together and and on and learning at the same time i mean because that that one was a lot of people that were just new into the industry so ev all the women are trying to figure out even how to wholesale how to you know flip what do i do here what's a contract so um you know it was a kind of a different aspect with that but it was nice to have women um being able to share with that especially when you're learning the basics of it and you know because sometimes you know when you're in co-ed it's fast paced you know they don't understand come on you got that let's go you know it's more calm and soothing in a way when you're getting into the industry so um that was that would be the one thing that i got from that i don't think there's anything out there like this for women at all you know who it's beyond the basics i mean there isn't in general with the growth co so i mean i think this would be the first for women specifically too, that is just beyond the basics of learning. You already kind of have that practical knowledge, but it's just, you yeah. know, how should I apply it? And then for women specifically, it'll have its own, you know, unique twist on all the other things that we have going on and how we can best kind of collaborate together and become, you know, enhance kind of like leadership skills as women and how we do things as women. Yeah, I mean, setting the goals and doing the time management. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the time the time blocking is is key, especially for us because our brains are going everywhere. But mm -hmm. you know, uh, with I love the growth code because they we have everybody, but being able to just focus on on women and and what they're about, I think, is going to be really exciting, and see what comes of it. There was uh, this piece of advice I got one time. Someone told me, Carlin, you think on a macro level, <clears throat> which is mm -hmm. what you do in your household. Mm -hmm. But in real estate, you need to think on a micro level and look mm -hmm. at one specific thing. And that piece of information has changed the trajectory of how I separate my brain in business versus at home. And... Mm -hmm. I think 
being able to teach other women and how to implement that and like how to actually separate those two things it's it's a pivot it's a huge pivot and being able to really kind of you know slow down the thought processes how to rein it back in and you know focus on okay this is what i'm doing right now okay this is what i'm going to do next okay this is what i need to do instead of going okay i need to do this 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 and this and this and this and this mm -hmm. and I, I'm just really, really excited to share that because that has been the biggest life-changing thing for me in the past two years is just learning how to establish myself out for one task. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that being said, um, we're going to kind of re reel this back in. Um, guys, if you, guys, <laughs> Ladies. 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 If you feel like you need this and these ladies, send one of us a message. Send us a message. Say, yo, growth. DM me yeah. growth. If you know or someone else, you know yeah, if you know another woman who might need this program, we're doing referral fees. We are paying you to help other women find these skills. And I want to be at the head of that. So let's build something absolutely amazing. Men, if your wife, if you want to invest in your wife this Christmas. There you go. Yep. Merry Christmas. We'll never Merry Christmas. We'll pay you too. Yes. We'll pay you too. Um, but thank you ladies so, so much for being here and for, you know, just walking through this with me and um, being a constant support in my life. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Oh, appreciate you. Appreciate you, Carlin. Appreciate yeah. all of you. And Jessica. Jessica, Jessica, and Jessica wherever you are. Jessica, Jessica just stick it out. Jessica. Jessica, wherever you are in the atmosphere, we love you. <laughs> All right, guys.